Good morning. This is uh, Pearls of Wisdom again. And we've been talking about the aspect of blessings and how we can connect to blessings. Specifically, we have been talking about how blessings is actually a choice and a lifestyle choice. We are also looking at Matthew 5. And we've been looking at the Beatitudes because that is such a rich source to be able to inform us on how we can live a blessed life every single day. So we are continuing with our study of the Beatitudes. We've been looking at Matthew 5, 3 in particular and about the scripture that says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for they shall see the kingdom of heaven. And we've been talking about the fact that this scripture is talking about humility. What does it mean to walk in humility? And this is, I think, a, a huge challenge in the world that we live in today. The world just does not teach us to walk in humility. In fact, the world we live in today makes it a real challenge to live in humility. Almost all of the training we receive from kindergarten level, from creche, from the early years of schooling, right through primary school, right through high school, even throughout university, all the training that we receive really has a way of teaching us to be selfish and it has a way of training us to look out for ourselves. The lives that we live are very much based on our own successes, our own welfare, our own victories, and essentially, we live in a very secular, humanistic society, which teaches, trains, and equips one to be selfish. If you look around, you see that everybody is looking out for themselves and for their families, and it's really a life of competition and a life of branding oneself to look better than everybody else. And the challenge that we have is that when you're operating from a place of self or a place of selfishness, where you're only looking out for yourself, it's virtually impossible to be humble. Now, humility does not mean that you become insignificant and you just start being a, a doormat uh, for, you know, for other people and you start groveling before everyone. Humble people are actually those people who look out for others, they prefer others, they respect, uh, esteem, honor others. And the humble heart is the one that would love to serve others instead of always being the one to be served. The humble heart is also the one that loves to help others and especially those who are in need. According to scripture, God gives grace to the humble, you know, and, and he resists the proud. You can read that in Proverbs 3, verse 34. It's also in James 4, verse 6, and 1 Peter 5, verse 5. So God gives grace to the humble or the afflicted, but he resists the proud. It's very important that we learn to inculcate and to nurture a humble heart. That's where the blessings lie, and that's to whom God gives grace. Pride is a, a completely, a, you know, a, a behavior that we don't want to see in the body of Christ. We don't want to see amongst believers. And yet, unfortunately, there are a lot of us who are walking in pride, and many of us <laughs> are even deceived into thinking we're humble when the reality of it is, is pride. Um, many of us go out there and, and, you know, looking down on other people, thinking that you are better than everybody else, always walking in critical heart and judgmental mode is not really showing or signaling that we're humble. So yes, we are called to speak the truth, and we are called to speak the truth in love, not out of a critical, judgmental heart that suggests that 
we are the great ones and we are the almighty ones and we are perfect and everybody else is is wicked and evil. So my prayer today is that really we would walk in humility. And uh, would you just join me in prayer, uh, even as I pray for myself, that the Lord would really help us to walk in humility and look out for other people, be less judgmental, be less critical, speaking the truth in love, not with a critical heart that suggests that we are better than everybody else. That is my prayer for myself and for all of us today. Let's be encouraged to walk in humility. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for they shall see the kingdom of heaven. And remember that God gives grace to the humble, not to the proud, though. He resists the proud. May you be encouraged this week and beyond to walk in humility, to speak the truth in love, and to just be a role model and love others, respect others, honor others. Don't think that, you know, you are all that and a bag of chips and uh, walk in that condescending, patronizing, proud, prideful and arrogant way. That is not what we're called to do. We're called to walk in humility. Be encouraged to do that this week. Much love and blessings.